Gav, Phil, Hippodrones. So on this ride I was leading, but behind me we've got um, Hippodrones on his Beta 390 RR. We've got uh, Gav on his Honda CRF 250 Rally and Phil Ferretti on his Derby Terra 125. And we've got breakdowns and broken feet, Ow. so yeah, enjoy. Going this way. <laughs> I really can't see the ground. <laughs> right now, can Phil do it this time? No pressure, Phil. No pressure. No pressure. Can he do it? Oh, hey! Something just flew in my helmet and it was making a buzzing. Oh. Scared the crap out of me. I was like, I just slammed on the brakes. And... Okay. Oh, I had a wasp. That was a loud buzzing right next to my ear. No, I don't really want a wasp in there. Right, this is quite a narrow one. Okay. This is the narrow one that Phil don't like. Fruity. Well, we'll get to Lumi's calf and then we'll. Uh... He won't fall out. It's got a long, long way left. No, 
it's not quite. There we go. It's a bit stiff that one. What's happened? Jeez, he's got his head stuck. Hey, freedom. Lucky sheep. They're trying to get rid of the thing that got them stuck. There was a sheep stuck. Ah, right. It was it was in a very bad spot. So I thought that Gav was just airing out his boots as it was a warm day and hot sweaty feet is something that you can get while riding off road. However, he had actually broken his foot, but we did not know this at the time and he never complained. This right here is my road boot. It's a nice comfortable road boot uh, for riding Honda Cubs, which you need this um, adjustment. Anyway, this makes a terrible protective boot. I've got a little bit of heel protection but that's about all. A little bit of firmness across the foot but in a crash yeah that, that's not going to protect me at all. This is my off-road boot. It is a Alpine Star Tech 2. It's not a full size, it's a stubby because I just don't get along with full length ones but they do make short motocross boots and this one if you've watched this channel for a long time, you know I've crashed loads of times and this one has served me very well and it's still doing a top job. As you can see, after all these thousands of miles I've done in it, it still holds its shape and is still very stiff and rigid, which is what you want from a motocross boot. You can get a brand new boot, but after a few rides it will become soft and you can never really tell. So the best thing to do is look at reviews online, look at long-term reviews of boots. Anyway. I recommend Alpine Stars. Right, Phil's exhaust has been reattached at the front so it's not blowing and we've worked out where the squeak's coming from. As he goes along he squeaks. So one lunch break later we decided to make our way back. That's nice of Gav. He just uh, got me a nice uh, couple of litres of petrol. Nice little top up. That's not too bad though, we've been out We've done a quite a lot of miles and it's still under a tenner to fill both bikes. It's pretty good. It's only a case of, yeah. I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. Exhaust stud, too tight, not tight enough, something's not right. The poor engine's getting a bit burnt here as well, so it's scorching a little bit. Yeah. Sounds like the exhaust has fallen off. And further investigation required. Yeah. New exhaust, I think. <laughs> New bike. New bike, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> of course, Phil happened to break it because he knows that it's his turn to buy the drinks at the pub. After you, Phil. Ladies. Ladies first. Oh, 
Bye, Phil. So long, suckers. Afternoon. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm going to speed up. Right then, here we go. Missing dog. This is a byway and it is perfectly tarmacked. You all better stand up. You're kidding me. So Gav parted ways and went towards home, we carried on. It wasn't till much later when Gav got home, he realised that his foot was hurting uh, more than previously anticipated, and he decided to take himself to the hospital and then found out that he had, in fact, broken his foot. Ouch. Standing him back in front of me. Right, well that's the end of the video. I hope Gav's feeling a lot better now and hopefully he's fully recovered. Um, I'll put links to their channels below. Hippodrones, Feel for 80 and Gav's. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.